I just started a new book, a novel. I've not been reading enough novels, and this one is fantastic. It's called 2034, A Novel of the Next World War. And who it's written by? Well, it gives it a lot of credibility. Number one, Admiral James Stavridis, retired. This guy is the real deal. He was the supreme allied commander at NATO, huh? Commanded a Navy destroyer, a destroyer squadron, an aircraft carrier battle group. That's serious stuff. His co-writer, Elliot Ackerman, a gifted writer and also a combat veteran, a Marine veteran, served five tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Wow. Silver, silver Star recipient. They joined forces for this magnificent book. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to Newsmax. How are you? Uh, First, uh, Elliot, actually, I got to ask you, you teamed up with an admiral. I think you were about a captain. He's got a few decades on you. Do you still call the admiral, sir? Uh, only, only when I misbehave. <laughs> well, it is kind of an interesting uh, union. Actually, uh, Admiral, it reminds me a little bit of Eisenhower and Nixon. Seriously, there's a huge gap between you guys, but also uh, a great, I guess, what connection as well. What's the war in 2034 going to be like, Admiral? Um, it's going to be brutal. And let's face it, there are going to be cyber attacks. We're going to lose ships in combat on both sides of the equation. And not to give anything away, it's entirely possible one nation or the other might use a tactical nuclear weapon. We ought to worry about this a great deal. We need to avoid sleepwalking into a war with China. They are going to be a serious adversary 15 years from now, Greg. China, wow. And I think uh, Iran could figure into this in a big way as well. Elliot. I think absolutely. Um, you know, one of the central characters in the book is an Iranian commander who is a veteran of the asymmetrical wars in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Syria, which are all wars where I have fought. Um, so the, the scope of the book is uh, is vast, and it asks the question of how do we avoid sleepwalking into a war, and what can we do now to potentially avoid that? Well, one of the things I like about the book, it's very readable, by the way. I'm serious. You can tackle it, and it, it's not going to take you three years to finish it. I love Tom Clancy, but those books went on forever, and I think this is highly adaptable to a movie uh, Admiral, have you had those kinds of discussions? Or is this a book perhaps, you know, for lawmakers, for people in the Pentagon? Who do you want to read this book? You know, I really want everybody to read this book, but you've hit two of the key groups, Greg. One is policymakers, because um, we need a strong military deterrent against China. That's going to require the Congress to fund the size Navy that we need, for example. We need more resources in cyber. So, yes. I want the Congress reading it, and I'd love to see it as a movie, uh, a mini-series. We've had some extremely preliminary conversations, but uh, stay tuned. Um, I'm hoping to get a bit part as an old, used-up admiral. Oh, come on now. Admiral, stop that. Stop that right now. Elliot Ackerman, uh, that's quite a transition, by the way. I think you're both Tufts University graduates. It's a very great school. Uh, great program up there, Tufts, uh, what, the Diplomacy School, Fletcher, whatever it's called. But, Elliot, uh, how did you make the transition from warrior, Marine Corps officer, to uh, writer? I mean, you've got several books to your credit, lots of book awards. That's uh, an unusual move that not many have done before. Well, you know, as a military officer, you spend a lot of time trying to get into the heads of your adversaries, and in many ways, your adversaries define you. And as a writer, you spend a lot of time trying to imagine the lives of others. Uh, so for me, in many respects, I saw it as an extension of some of the work I used to do. Totally. Totally get that. And we're looking at you, it looks like, uh, overseas. Admiral, what's it like being the Supreme Allied Commander? That is that's quite a title, uh, quite a job. Eisenhower, I believe, held that same job. Um, do you miss it? And what is it like doing that, filling that role? Well, it's a terrific job, very historical. And I was the 16th Supreme Allied Commander. Uh, Eisenhower was the first. But here's the punchline. I was the first and so far the only admiral in that job. So think of a long line of 15 generals spinning behind me, wondering how a Navy guy got the job. 
Mostly, Greg, I concentrate these days on trying to get my wife to call me El Supremo at home. <laughs> Not going well. Okay. Well, you guys, I think, have a winner with this one. Again, it looks highly readable so far, so good. And uh, I, 2034, a novel of the next world war by Elliot Ackerman and Admiral James Stavridis. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And congratulations on the book. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.